Good morning, everyone. I am Brad Andrews, president of Southwestern College, and it is my joy and honor and privilege on behalf of all of us at the college to welcome you to the 2019 Business Hall of Fame induction ceremony. Uh, this time for us as a college, Founders Weekend and the Hall of Fame induction ceremonies are very meaningful in the life of our college. We're fortunate to receive many nominations every year that point to builders who have excelled in and greatly contributed to their fields. This Hall of Fame, the Business Hall of Fame, inducts an incredible class every year. Um, I I don't want to have a favorite, it's not appropriate for me to have a favorite Hall of Fame and like one more than the other, uh, but certainly in this Hall of Fame, if you have read through our past inductees, you know, honors people who have really stood out. Uh, builders have ingenuity, builders aren't afraid to work hard, and these traits serve all of us well. Uh, these traits are what make us proud as a college, and these traits are certainly on display in our honorees today. We highlight uh, graduates and ambassadors of the college in the Halls of Fame not only to honor them, but also to illustrate for all of us uh, the possibility, the opportunity, all that is yet to come in the lives of our students. And so, uh, allowing us to honor you, each of you, uh, um, provides us the opportunity to present to our students an inspiration. Uh, it gives them paths to follow, it encourages them on their studies, uh, an important part of who we are in this college moving forward. So we are grateful and appreciative to you. Those who are inducted to this Hall of Fame demonstrate the determination, the leadership, and the business acumen required to enjoy exceptional success. And additionally, they are people of great character. We're proud to lift them up with this honor and appreciation. So to everyone, thank you for being here today. And to Corey and to Larry and to Darren and Renee, thank you for allowing us to recognize. At this time, I would like to invite our Master of Ceremonies up to the podium, Dr. Kirk Kaiser, Chair of the Business Division. The Southwestern College Business Hall of Fame was established in 2002 to honor alumni with significant achievements in business. It is the intent that this Hall of Fame gives recognition and honor to those who excel in the business field. Before we officially get underway, I would like to call your attention to the beautiful glass creations on the table beside me. These one-of-a-kind awards are given annually to Business Hall of Fame inductees. They are handcrafted by Mr. Scott Hartley, class of 97, a Southwestern science major who went on to use his artistic talents and his knowledge of science to become a master glass blower. Scott is also a 2016 inductee of the SC Fine Arts Hall of Fame. We are fortunate to be able to give these unique gifts to our inductees to permanently remind them of their place in our hall. Well, our first inductee, this morning, Larry Ewart, class of 1973. Larry began his 40-year career in crop insurance on a part-time basis when he joined Wheat Growers Mutual Hail Insurance Company in 1974, continuing when the company merged with FMH in 1994. He became state supervisor of Kansas, Colorado, and Oklahoma in 2003 and Vice President, Claims Manager in 2009. During that year, he also became member of the newly created Management Committee, later taking on management of the Internal Claims Reporting Center in addition to managing the external claims staff. In 2015, Ewart was named Senior Vice President and National Claims Manager. He has been a champion of change over the years and is credited with transforming the claims operations at FMH, as well as being an advocate for the industry as a member of a number of NCIS committees. Larry, would you please approach the podium? Congratulations. Congratulations. 
Well, good morning. Uh, it's a bright start to our day uh, in Kansas. Uh, is spring going to get here or not? I'm not sure about that. So, um, but as I walked up the uh, 77 steps, uh, uh, it really reminded me of something. I need to get in better shape. <laughs> but uh, it was a good walk, don't get me wrong. So, um, uh, being in this auditorium, I guess i got to think about this for a second as well. Uh, I remember being in here, uh, we had a humanities class. I think some of us might remember that. And it was dark also, so I hope you all don't go to sleep because I know a lot of the students used to sleep during that hour in, in humanities in that film. They put on a film, so that's kind of interesting. So, uh, but let me just start by saying um, uh, thank you to Southwestern. Uh, I visited with Brad this morning, and I wanted to thank him personally, and I got that done. And, uh, but I do want to make this comment about how, how uh, the uh, opportunity to come here and stand here at this podium is uh, something I wasn't expecting. And uh, I'm not sure any 18 or 19-year-old who's attending Southwestern College is uh, prescribing, you know, working to go into a Hall of Fame. And that's probably the least thing on their mind at the time. And uh, so to be standing here today is uh, just a, a wonderful thing. Uh, so I really uh, want to speak to that. Uh, the other thing, too, is I want to thank the Hall of Fame committee for uh, consideration of my nomination. Uh, I, I know, and I'm glad Brad mentioned that, about the, uh, that there was a lot of nominees. And uh, so I feel very privileged uh, that, uh, again, that uh, I was selected. And then um, thirdly, uh, to the people who came here today to support me, um, that's probably one of the most humbling things I could ever think of anyone to do for me. So uh, some of you came a long way, I know that, and I just want to express that to you all, uh, family and uh, friends that came here today uh, to support my induction. Um, there's a host of people that I could mention who impacted my career uh, in the insurance business, and, uh, but I'm not going to bore you with all that. But I do want to speak a little bit to how Southwestern College impacted my life. And I hope I don't get too emotional about this, uh, but uh, 1971 is when um, I first became uh, associated with Southwestern College. I was finishing up my uh, first two years of college at Butler County Community College. I was playing basketball there, and I was looking to transfer to a school. I had visited a couple of other schools uh, in the state of Kansas, and I wasn't sure I was all that comfortable, and so I reached out to my high school basketball coach, and who was a Southwestern graduate, Armin Hillier. And I think many of you probably know Armin. Uh, he's just up the road up here at Augusta. And um, he's, uh, in, in my view, uh, a stalwart, one of the real stalwart grads of Southwestern College. Uh, but anyway, I reached out to him, and he suggested I look at Southwestern. And I told him, I said, well, they're not recruiting me. And he said, well, let me make a phone call. So he contacted, um, based on that relationship, he contacted uh, Coach Stevens, Bill Stevens, who was the AD and basketball coach here at the time. And uh, so I came down and uh, visited with Coach Stevens. And I'm pretty certain that Coach Stevens wasn't looking for another six-foot guard to be in his basketball program. I'm sure he was looking for a much better player uh, to come down to. But as I came down here, um, that right there, that opportunity changed my life. Uh, what it did, it, it provided a whole new step uh, for me to enter into uh, uh, away from uh, what I grew up in, up in Augusta, not that it was terrible, but uh, just to step into another environment to learn a lot of different skills and leadership being one of them. So uh, I had a great relationship with Coach Stevens. I, I even uh, became his uh, student assistant coach here, coach basketball, the junior varsity level for one year, and then I was a head basketball coach for four years before I entered the insurance business. So, uh, but being here, I established another relationship and that relationship has been enduring for 46 years, and I met my wife here. And so I got my family here. Yeah, we're particularly very proud of our kids. I got two lovely granddaughters. 
um, a fantastic son-in-law who's in Washington, D.C. on a business trip. He couldn't be here. So, but anyway, out of that relationship with Anita um, is how I got in the insurance business. And it was her relationship back in Cimarron uh, with uh, a couple of families, the Hefner family and the Deardorff family, is how I got into the insurance business uh, per se. So I think by now, I think you're probably seeing where I'm probably going down this road. Um, you know, I think we would all agree that you can come to Southwestern and get a great education. We all know that. Um, you can feed uh, your passion or your competitive spirit by playing athletics or getting involved in an activity. You can do that. But for me, and I think there's others here today that I know agree with me, that the best thing for Southwestern is what you get here in the way of relationships. What you build here in relationships is unreal. They're life changing. And, um, you can't put a real price on it. They're actually uh, priceless when it comes to that. So um, I just want to mention all that. You know, Anita and I, we have in our home, right up in our kitchen, two words that we're very fond of, uh, blessed and grateful, uh, those two words. And um, you see, we don't play the what-if game, Anita and I. You know, what if we would have done this? What if we had this? We don't do that. We know that we have a great family. We've had great careers. She had a great career in education herself over 30 plus years. And uh, we have great friends. And it all started here at Southwestern College. And that is what we're truly grateful for. So with that, Again, I just want to thank the college for this wonderful uh, induction ceremony that you guys go to all this trouble for. Um, I really, truly appreciate it. Uh, again, to the committee, I thank you, and to all my friends for showing up today. Um, thank you very much, and I hope you have a great day. Appreciate the rest of the day. Thank you. Thank you and congratulations, Larry. Our next inductee is Corey Helmer, class of 1999. Corey has chosen to make his career in the same city where he was born and raised, right here in Winfield, Kansas, and he has focused on improving his hometown as well as his industry. He is currently Winfield Udall, market president of Union State Bank. Corey is a 2004 graduate of the Kansas Bankers Association Commercial Lending School and a 2012 graduate of the Graduate School of Banking at the University of Wisconsin-Madison and has worked in the banking industry for more than 20 years. He also is active in the community, currently serving as the Vice Chair of the Winfield Area Chamber of Commerce and as a member of the Board of Directors for the William Newton Healthcare Foundation. He is also active at Grace United Methodist Church in Winfield, where he is the finance chair. Corey, could you please approach the podium? So good morning. I first want to thank the uh, nominating team for the Business uh, Hall of Fame. I consider this to be a tremendous honor and I am very humbled uh, to be in front of you today. I want to thank my beautiful wife, Nicole, um, who's also a graduate of Southwestern College. Our four kids, Ethan, Chloe, Brooklyn, and our newest one that joined us March 1st, Emma. She hasn't started crying yet, so uh, we're winning so far. So, um, you know, my wife has her own working career uh, I'm certainly uh, not around as much as I would like to be, um, so I really appreciate the support and the love that uh, you provide us. So I want to thank my parents, Jim and Deb. Uh, thank you for always being there for me and supporting me. You know, the majority of my family are all teachers and coaches, and uh, for uh, whatever reason, I chose a different path. So um, thank you for believing in me and uh, for loving me. 
My sisters, Cassie and Ashley, are here today, uh, and Ashley's husband, Wendell, all graduates of Southwestern College. Uh, my Aunt Ned is here, graduate of Southwestern College, and her husband, Brad. So thank you all for uh, being here today. I also want to thank and uh, recognize my grandmother, Mildred Helmer, who is here. She's 95 years old. She'll be 96 years old next month. So, <clears throat> I'm so thankful that you're here today with us. And I know that Granddad is with us in spirit, and he's looking down and smiling on us today. You know, I spent my summers living and working uh, for my grandparents on their farm near Lyons, Kansas. We had a lot of fun, but we were expected to be up and in the yard with a grease gun in our hand by 8 o'clock every day. So I want to thank you, Grandma, for instilling in me the desire to work hard, to take pride in your work, and to always strive to be successful. And I believe these same values were instilled in my father and played a great part in the success that he achieved for the cross-country and track programs here at Southwestern College. I've always tried to follow these values, to work hard, to do the right thing, and eventually you will be rewarded. Me standing here today is a testament to that foundation. I want to close by thanking Southwestern College. You know, from a, uh, a young age, I always knew that I would be a builder. Growing up, I spent a lot of time in Saunders Stadium, now Jantz Stadium, as we lived about a, blo a block away from campus. You know, I spent hours over here on the 77 steps playing uh, and also what we called the forest, which uh, surrounds the, the 77 steps. There's a lot less trees now, but uh, still a, a wonderful part of campus. So I also remember I may have gotten into a little bit of trouble um, as a kid for putting too many divots in the grass, which is the vacant lot um, that's now the uh, Beach Science Center. And that was my personal uh, driving range. So um, anyway, maintenance wasn't really happy with me a couple times. So. You know, while I always knew uh, SC was, the, was where I wanted to be, um, I often tell, and I love to tell the story of how I finally ended up here at Southwestern. You know, I had experienced some success in running in high school, and I knew that I wanted to be a part of the success that my dad had built here at Southwestern, but I started to get some recruiting letters uh, from other colleges um, as I was a senior, and I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, but my dad and I never really talked about those, so... Um, <laughs> So my senior year um, of high school, things just kind of started showing up. Um, one day I came home and um, I had some small talk with my dad and probably about you know how your day went, how practice was. And he said, hey, your enrollment application is over there on the table. Go fill it out and I'll take it back to school tomorrow. So and sometime later I came home, same thing, engaged in some talk with my dad. And he said, hey, your letter of intent is over there on the counter. Go sign it, and I'll take it back to work tomorrow. So I remember thinking, well, that's it. I'm a builder, and I cannot be more thankful. Southwestern College has provided me with the foundation and the ed education that I needed to be successful in life and also in my banking career. So again, thank you, President Andrews. Thank you, Southwestern College. Thank you all for being here today, and uh, go builders. So. Thank you and congratulations, Corey. The 2019 recipient of the Business Builder Award is Graves Drug, owned by Renee and Darren Price. Graves Drug has a decades-long presence in Cali County, both as a pharmacy and gift store, and as a community business leader. Established in 1947, the company has changed and adapted to remain relevant and groundbreaking. Darren and Renee Price purchased the Winfield and Arc City stores from the Graves family in 2010 and have responded to customers' needs with a multitude of changes to the operations and business focuses of the stores. Graves now offers compounding, immunization, packaging and compliance services, patient counseling and medication reconciliation, medication therapy management, and smoking cessation programs. The gift department at an e-commerce component and has seen a growth in sales of more than 80% in each of the past three years. The prices also serve on boards of directors for various organizations in Cowley County and are enthusiastic supporters of community development. Derek, could you please approach the podium?
Thank you. Oh, thank you very much for the kind words. I really appreciate that. Um, Corey said that he was disorganized sometimes, but I saw his nice typed out notes, and I've got my notes on the back of a McDonald's receipt. So that, uh, I'd, I'd say you're doing okay, Corey. <laughs> And I also want to say, Larry, I felt the same way walking up the steps. Um, I was telling President Andrews, uh, Renee and I trained for a uh, half marathon running up Pikes Peak a couple of years ago. So there's not a lot of good places to train in Cali County. And so I ran up and down those dang stairs, I don't know how many times. So, and I, I realized that I'm not in near as good a shape as I, as I was then. So I, I agree with you there. I just wanted to start off by saying that how... Uh, humbled and honored that, that I am and that our employees are with, with Graves to receive this, uh, this award from Southwestern College. We're, we're very thankful um, to Southwestern College and the committee that chose us. And I know that I'm up here today, but I really want to recognize our employees, and we have a few of those here. Do you guys mind standing up real quick and can we give them a round of applause? I, I I truly believe that any if you're if you're going to run a good business you have to have dedicated people and, and these guys show up day in and day out even on a Saturday morning at eight o'clock uh, when when asked so uh, I really appreciate everything that we do. Um, two of our main initiatives with our business this year um, one, one was on the economic side, but one was to build a what we wanted to call like to call a super culture in our business. Um, I read a quote one time that said, company culture is the only, is the only competitive advantage that is truly 100% um, up to the, uh, to the business and to the employees of the business. And so we really wanted to focus on our culture. We wanted a place where people really wanted to work and a place that customers really wanted to come to. And so I just want to tell a quick story about one situation that happened. Um, one of our employees, uh, we, we have a customer that comes in pretty frequently, and uh, one of our employees one day just decided to write them a card thanking them for their pa patronage of, um, um, of a local business and for coming in and always having a smile on their face when they came in. And so, you know, it took her, you know, 30 seconds, a minute to write that quick card and sent it. Well, the customer called me a couple of uh, days later and just said, you know, that's, I, I've been to so many businesses in my lifetime. You know, I'm 70 years old. I have never had one business write me a card thanking me for coming, a handwritten card thanking me for coming into their business. And so what I did was I put that on my refrigerator. This is her saying this. Not, not as a reminder of Graves or the employees at Graves, but as a reminder that it doesn't take very much effort to be kind to people. You know, it doesn't take very much time in your day to make somebody's day. And so that's one of the things we try to focus on at Graves Drug, and, and I give all of the credit to our employees. They're the ones that make that happen on, on a regular basis. So um, another thing that we really believe in at Graves Drug is uh, partnerships and community. I, I personally, personally, pers personally believe. <laughs> I personally believe that a good community has to have a good healthcare system and has to have a good education system. And I believe that Southwestern College more than provides a great education system for the community of, of Winfield. Um, it's one of my favorite partnerships that we do. Um, just real quick, funny story. Uh, we got into a partnership, it's been two or three years ago, with Southwestern through the athletics program. Um, I love athletics, you know, sports is a big part of our life. My, my uh, son loves basketball. And so we decided to do the uh, Graves halftime basketball shootout, okay? And what that entails, for those of you that don't know, is that somebody selected out of the crowd, they have to make a layup, um, a free throw, a three-pointer and then half court, half court shot, all in succession. Okay, and so they rolled this thing out. And I said, "Oh, what a deal! You know, I'm never going to have to pay out on this thing. Who 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 would do that? You know, I know how I'm a basketball player. I know how hard. I'll be damned if it wasn't on the first night that that happened." 
And so, you know, when they did that, we have to buy a, 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 I think it was like Xbox or PlayStation. So it was like a $400 item. And throughout the season, it happened four or five more times. Like, you guys should stock the team with the people in the crowd, man. It's, these, these guys are awesome. <laughs> so that's, that's kind of how my, our partnership with Grave started with Southwestern when we moved here. And I'm, I'm just so grateful for the relationship that we have with Southwestern and all that they provide for our community. So in closing, kind of going back to our wildly important goal that we have of, uh, of culture, you know, I, I think what we try to, to focus on in our business is show up, uh, work hard, be kind, and amazing things will happen. So thank you very much. Thank you and congratulations, Derek and Renee, too. Well, thank you for coming to the celebration of business at Southwestern College. We look forward to having this rich tradition of mound builder excellence continue. Again, on behalf of the business division, congratulations to our worthy and deserving inductees, and thank you for joining us today and celebrating the 2019 class of the Business Hall of Fame. Thank you for your support of Southwestern College. And before I sign off, I forgot to do this last year. I wanted to thank Charles McKenzie. He puts all this together. He's godlike to me. So thank you, Charles. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.